What would you say to people about the belief that, that you and Jamie and other folks have followed, Pastor? I would tell people, you know, if you don't understand it, don't knock it. You know, if you want to understand it, come and try. All we do is, you know, we adhere to the literal interpretation of the gospel. We want to see people saved, and we believe those signs is signs to non-believers of, of God's power that can still move through mankind. Healing the sick, speaking in tongues, casting out devils, you know, drinking a deadly thing and taking up serpents. I, I would say, you know, you never know, you know, what God might want you to do. And if we serve a God that is so powerful that he can cause fire to fall from heaven, let a man sleep with lions, let three little boys stand in, you know, a fiery furnace and not even have a smell of smoke, then what, you know, I, what makes people think that our God can't let people, you know, lay hands on sick people today? And it ain't us, but a God that works through us heals them. You know, see devils crowd of people, speak with new tongues, drink deadly, you know, deadly poison, and no harm come to us, and take up serpents, you know, under the anointing of God. We serve an all-powerful God, and I tell people, you know, most of all, whether they ever take up serpents or not, that's not what this is about. But if people don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, come to know Him as their Savior. Because, you know, time's too short, and it pays to be ready. If we ever expect to make it to heaven, snakes won't get us to heaven, tongues won't get us to heaven, but Christ will. And if they'd like to understand what we do, pray. It, it might not be meant for them to understand it, but if, I guarantee they get a want to and a desire enough to understand and feel the realness of God to do this, they will.